and the driver's window is down and I'm looking and I'm like, I think my friends are in there. Mm, I'm not about to get drunk with y'all people who I just met. But when I went to college, all of a sudden, everybody had fake IDs because they won't even remember this the next day, period. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a fun video for you guys. Welcome to Rickman's Day 17. We're almost at Day 25. So, today I'm gonna be doing a story time video. I rarely do these on my channel and I'll have my last one linked in the description box below. This is another story of a series of unfortunate events that have happened to me because... <sighs> I don't even know why some of this stuff happens to me, but this video is going to be really funny because it's so dumb. But it has a happy ending, so let's get into it. Okay, so most people know, if you don't, I attended the University of Connecticut for two years before I transferred schools and ended up graduating from somewhere else. But my freshman year of college, I did live in a dorm. Like, I lived the college lifestyle dorm and all that like new surroundings new friends all of that and I lived in this building that was like 99.9% .9 freshmen I lived in like the towers I lived in the towers housing area I feel like everybody lived in towers freshman year well not everybody but like if you went to UConn you know what I'm talking about like everybody lived in towers so I lived on the floor with all freshman girls and everybody was super nice and of course I was the only black girl in my like entire building I think there was one other girl and we weren't even friends like I didn't even know her but she lived in the building so yeah it was like a culture shock for me in a sense like I wasn't used to being around so many people who weren't minorities and that's not a bad thing like I feel like change is good in a certain sense and I'm from New York City where like everybody is super duper diverse so it was good for me to be immersed into an uncomfortable situation because if you're not uncomfortable you don't grow that was okay I wasn't that's not where the problem started <laughs> Like, everybody's kind of feeling each other out, trying to figure out, like, who wants to be friends with who, who's this, who's that, who likes this. We were just, like, one big group of friends because we all lived on the same floor. But I did know a couple of people outside of my floor, just, like, through social media and stuff like that. So, at this point, I didn't know anything about the college party scene. I was kind of going off of what other people would tell me, so we did the frat party thing a lot. And if you went to a PWI, you know that those frat parties are like some of the strangest things that I've ever experienced in my whole entire life. Those were the first parties that I ended up going to when I went to college and I soon found out that that wasn't my scene. But nonetheless, I went and whenever we would go to these frat parties, for some reason, which was also weird, we would walk. Like, I, where I'm from, we don't we don't walk, you know, we don't walk to parties, we don't walk to functions, but it, it's college, so, like, we're on a campus, and you would think, like, if you're walking somewhere, it would be close. No, these frat parties were at off-campus houses, like, you have to walk so far to get to them. We were dressed like little skimpy college girls walking down the streets to the little party that I didn't, I didn't even know how we got invited to this party. I think one of the girls in the group found out about it and like we were all going. But at this point in my life, I didn't drink. Like I didn't drink in high school. I, I didn't really, I was never the kind of person that was like, oh my God, I can't wait to drink. Like, oh my God, like I really could care less. And at that point I had never even had alcohol before. So when everybody would be like taking shots and like getting bottles from who knows where because like how do you already know upperclassmen? I don't know. I don't know where these people were getting alcohol from. <laughs> a lot of people had fake IDs. Like I just, that was culture shock for me too in a sense because I feel like nobody I went to high school with had a fake ID. But when I went to college, all of a sudden everybody had fake IDs. So when people would be pre-gaming and all that, I wouldn't be drunk. Like, I wouldn't be drinking. I would just be there. I'm pretty sure we pre-gamed and we eventually left and walked along the merry way to this party. 
through scorching winds and deserts. Like, you know that episode of Spongebob where they're, like, walking and Spongebob got the pizza and Squidward is just, like, over it? That's me. I'm the Squidward. I was over it. But we were walking through the party nonetheless, and we eventually get there, and it's, like, an outside backyard type of vibe. Everybody is there. So I started running in to people that I knew that didn't live on my floor. And like I told you guys, I went with a like big group of girls. It was maybe like six of us or so. So it was a big group of us and I started like branching off a little bit to like talk to people that I knew and they had jungle juice there. Jungle juice is like the juice that they make for the frat parties. That's like their signature juice. Like each frat has like a juice that they make that has like a bunch of different alcohol in it, et cetera, et cetera. And people normally say like, oh, don't drink the jungle juice because then you'll get roofied. So I was drinking the jungle juice, but I wasn't excessively drinking. Like I had one cup that I babysat the whole night because I didn't want people to constantly ask me, why aren't you drinking? Why aren't you drinking? Oh, you don't want to drink? Like, do you want to drink? Like, that was annoying to me. I don't really feel comfortable around y'all to be drinking like that. Like, I don't even know y'all to be trying alcohol with y'all for the first time. Like, you feel me? I was on that type of timing. I was like, mm, I'm not about to get drunk with y'all people who I just met, which was a good idea, but we'll get to that. So I was drinking, I was mingling, I broke off from the group, like I said, I think this point it's not even registering to me that I'm not with the people that I came with I'm just mingling because I was a social person in college so we were all hanging out but I wasn't with the girls that I came with I somehow along the way lost track of them but I didn't notice it and at this point the party gets shut down the cops show up everybody's dispersing and I'm kind of just like hanging around because I'm like uh what are we doing like <laughs> what happens now? We walk to that house, but I have no idea where that is. I'm a freshman. I never lived in Connecticut. I don't know anything about this. This was before Uber and Lyft, so there was none of that at this time in my college career. So the party got shut down, and everybody is just like, oh, time to skedaddle. And I look up. I don't see any of the girls that I came with. When I tell you I looked up, I looked around, and I was like, oh, where is, where are they? Like, where are my friends? Like, we all come together, we all leave together. That That's what I thought, right? <laughs> that's what I thought. And at this point, I start freaking out. I'm like, this is the type of stuff that my parents warned me about. Like, I should have known where I was going to. I should have had the address at least or like a way to get back. Like, you shouldn't go somewhere and not know how you're going to get home. Like, that's stupid. But I did that, right? I don't know how to walk back because I don't even know where we are. So it's the middle of the night. The party got shut down and I lost my friends. So I'm like... I didn't know what to do. I'm walking around the party. Everybody is, like, leaving. And I'm like, where, where are my peoples at? I'm so confused. And all of a sudden, I get a call from my friend. Her name is Julia. We are still friends to this day. And this is why. She calls me and she's like, where are you? We're in the sober ride. We're about to leave. I didn't see you. And I'm like, y'all are in a, a ride, a car. When did this car when did this car get cold? When did y'all leave? Like why would y'all leave me? That's what's going through my mind. Like what the what the heck? And when did she realize that I was missing? I'm so glad that she called me. So she's like, "Oh, we're down the street at the edge of the driveway, blah blah blah. The the sober driver is about to pull off. Like you need to get here right now or it's going to leave." So I go running trying to find them. Mind you, I don't know what this car looks like because I didn't call it. I don't know where they are. I don't know if they're in the car. I don't know if they're out the car. So I'm running out of the party down the little yard or whatever to the driveway. And I'm looking, I'm on the phone with Julia. I'm trying to figure out, I'm like, yo, where are you guys? Like, I don't see you. I don't see you. I don't see you. And I finally see the car and I pull up to it and the driver's window is down. And I'm looking and I'm like, I think my friends are in there friends i'm looking and i'm looking and the door opens and julia's in the back and she's like get in here and i'm like oh my freaking god i almost got left at this party like y'all are fake as hell all right because y'all should have never left me somebody should have noticed that i was missing y'all called a cab y'all got all in the vehicle nobody was caring about where i was except for jules 
Julia is a real one. And that's when I knew that she was going to be my friend and that the rest of those people, I didn't want nothing to do with them. Like, nothing to do with them. And from that moment on, she became one of my best friends. And that could have went so bad, but it didn't. I mean, I got home. I'm alive. I'm safe, you know? But my tips would be for people who are going to college or are already in college, please be very careful when you go to these parties and make sure you have people around you that are safe and smart and caring about other people. You know, a lot of people drink to excess and they don't know what they're doing. They was taking shots before we even got to the party. So how could they possibly remember me if... I went missing because they won't even remember this the next day, period. So, yeah, you just have to be very aware of who you bring yourself around. Know who you are and not be swayed by the people that you're around. Because imagine if I took shots with them that day. Imagine if I got super drunk and I didn't know what I was doing. I was stumbling around and they left me at that party and I was there stranded, drunk and confused. You know, like... That could have went really bad and I learned that lesson really early and I'm glad I did and it ended the way that it did because I wasn't hurt, nobody was hurt, I got home safe, everything was fine. But it did teach me that you have to be very, very careful. Don't be drinking with these people that you don't know. You really, If you're going to get drunk, and I can't tell you what to do, but if you're going to get drunk, please do it around people you trust because... The college scene is very dangerous in more ways than one. Like, so many different things can happen to you. And in my time in college, there were multiple people who died and stuff. So, like, you just never know what can happen. So, be careful. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you like the story times and want to see more, make sure you thumbs up this video so that I know that you liked it. Comment down below what do you guys think? Like, what would you have done in my situation? Have you had any experiences like this? What were the frat parties like at your school? Because mine, them parties was, was sus. Make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and turn on your post notifications and join the notification gang because you want to be notified when I upload my next video. Duh. So I will see all of you beautiful people in my next one. Bye.